Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add links into your Mind Manager maps. Now links are really really useful in Mind Manager Mind Maps for keeping your information nice and manageable, keeping lots of information to hand and key. Hello everybody and welcome to this bigger plate tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to add links to your Mind Manager maps. Links can be really useful as little signposts pointing you to other content and extra detail that you may not want to have actually stored in the Mind Map itself. You can really start to think of links as signposts within your mind maps. So how do we add links and what can we link to? So firstly what can we link to? We can link to websites, we can link to files and folders and we can even link to topics within the same mind map. Now that's particularly useful when your maps get quite large. It means you can avoid having too many relationship lines around the map and you can just have again little signals to yourself that there's other content within this map that I want to go and look at. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So how do we do adding of links to a map. Well, there's a few different ways we might come at it, but it all achieves the same thing. Firstly, we might use the main menu. So if we come up into our main menu over here and we hit insert, you'll find the option just here to say add link. But you may have noticed also if I just go back to home, you've actually got the link option just here. This is because links is just something people are using a lot, so my manager has got the option lots of different places. So you can add from here click that it's going to pop open a little dialog here and we could say for example we're going to link to a website biggerplate.com save that and then we can just see this little symbol tells us there's a link here if we hover over it it tells us where it's going to go and I can then say open that outside my manager and it should pop open the bigger plate website or whichever website I had linked to eventually there we go so Another way we might come at it would avoid going up to that main menu. I quite often have the main menu closed when I'm mapping, so I've got a little bit more space on the screen. And so quite often I will use right click and again just scroll down here, nice and easy to see, add link. Again, same principle applies, but maybe this time we're going to link to a file. So let's just link off to something on here. Let's go into Drive and let's link off to Bigger Plate 3.0. A little symbol again tells us there's a link and if I hover over it that tells me what I'm linking to and where it is and if I click that again that's going to open that file nice and quickly for me. Now my personal favorite way to add links into my Mind Manager maps is with a shortcut. There's some great shortcuts in Mind Manager and this is one of the most helpful ones. So if you just hit control and the letter K it's going to pop open that dialog box straight away. No need to go into menus, no need to be moving around your mouse, a really nice little time saver there and again we might choose to link this time to a folder and say let's link to our Mind Manager Tutorials folder just there, save that and again a little symbol tells us there's something here if I click open that and say pop open that folder is going to pop open exactly where I want it to land so you can really use these as little signposts to key information again have lots of information with you in your mind map without overdoing it so examples you might use this for things like market research you might have a list of competitors and let's say you want to have the websites for each competitor so let's say maybe mindjet is one of your competitors we could link to mindjet.com save that in there in a second now you might have also downloaded a latest white paper from this organization and you might choose again using the control K option you might choose to link off to a folder there so let's say we're in here come in here let's just say this is a nice PDF you see I've linked just off to an image file there but that could have been to a PDF of a report and again you might actually say as well as the website for competitor alpha what I also want to have using the links again I'll come up this way and come at it this time add a link here and this time I'm going to link maybe to my whole folder for these guys and just say right here's my folder for this so I'm going to link off to there and now I get this little symbol that tells me there's more than one link on my topic so again if I hover over those or pop that open rather you will see I can say right there's a website and there's a folder and I can then actually go into manage those links and I can say right I'd like to change these I'd like to edit them I'd like to remove them so there's a huge depth to the hyperlinking feature within my manager but the key point is to keep your mind maps nice and clean but you've got these great little signposts everywhere using the links functionality helping you get to other key information nice and quickly from your mind map so that's it. For more templates, tutorials and training for mind mapping of course, go to biggerplate.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.